In the real world, the lighting makes the surroundings seem dull and puts the setting in daytime by using earth tones and light blues for the sky. In the other mother world, the lighting conveys a sense of magic by using bright blues and reds along with an illuminating night sort of glowy light. In the real world, the director used more of a side view so he wouldn't accentuate the fact that the garden is Coraline's face. In the other mother world, the camera angle is a more direct bird's eye view to show the garden's resemblance to Coraline's face. In the screenshots from these scenes, you start with the dull, normal world and transition to the other mother world, which is bright and magical, a totally contrasting view that is not as it first seemed. One, two, three! The camera movement in this clip shows the other mother turning into spider mother and the camera moves up with her head to present her as a more intimidating figure. The non-diegetic sound towards the end of the clip after the other mother turns into spider mother helps set the mood for the rest of the scene and creates the effect of an entirely different world not being what it seemed at first. In this clip, the other mother is turning into a more sinister character, which is not what she implied to begin with, furthering the fact that this scene follows the theme of not being what it seems at first. It looks like you ran afoul of something with wicked claws. But I'm still dreaming. What did that to you? Banner or bandit. The bandersnap. I'd better have a look. What are you doing? It needs to be purified by someone with evaporating skills or it will fester and putrefy. To create a mysterious and ominous tone, Tim Burton used low-key light, but he illuminated Cheshire Cat's eyes with the accented color of bright teal to create a contrast, helping the audience perceive him as different. The use of supposedly diegetic swooping noises creates the magical effect that the Cheshire Cat is actually appearing and disappearing out of thin air. In this clip, Cheshire Cat appears semi-normal to Alice, but then he starts floating and disappearing out of thin air, giving Alice a different viewpoint than she had at first. It's only a dream. In this scene, the camera angles contribute to making Alice look smaller than she originally was, as well as making all other objects look larger than her. In this scene, the movement of the camera when Alice grows smaller into her dress makes the effect look more realistic and also shows that it is only her and not her surroundings that are changing. This iconic Alice in Wonderland scene, with the aid of the Drink Me bottle, shrinks Alice and turns the scene into what you could call smaller than life. As Alice shrinks smaller and smaller, it is apparent to the audience that the world she is in is not as it seems. <laughs> 